Something very important, if you don't know already, never do this. Never start a custom PC set by using PC. Set. This is not recommended or it might be even forbidden by the IFC schema. It's definitely not best practice because by default you have all the property sets coming with the IFC schema starting with this. So if you have something custom actually it should be something that follows a naming convention that you have internally or something like that. So for us in this case, let's call it BM Voice Walls. Hey friends, let's have a look and see how we can add a custom property set with Blender Beam to a wall in this case. So after uh, launching Blender Beam, I will create a project and I will choose the demo library and I will just make this wall right here. doesn't matter the details and everything. Let's go here to the information, object information. And we see that we have right now these attributes, global ID, name, and then this type spatial container and no properties. This is something auto-generated by Blender Beam. I don't really know what is this, but we should not have it here. So now let's save it. Let's go to file and save IFC project as, and let's overwrite here, All right? So to show you that, I will go here in Bing Club and open this and you will see that this is a wall predefined type and we don't see any property sets here nothing if you want to see how that goes before i show you the custom one let's add standard one let's say wall common and if i click on add let's just say that i want this to be as a new project it's external and it's load bearing let's say only that for now and i can save it and now I'll save it again and I'll go back to Bing Club and I'll open this again. There we go. Now, if we go here, you can see that we got this property set called P set all common with these properties status, new, load bearing, and is external. Let's go back to Blender Beam then. So, Dian and everyone else contributing to this property set manager has done a tremendous job and it's actually pretty, pretty cool the way you handle the property sets. And in order to do that, we need to go here in this tab, Project Overview, and then in Project Setup. And here at the bottom, we will have a Property Set Templates tab. And here we have already a few of them, which are, I don't really know, I did not go through them. But I want to create a new one, right? And back here, I will click on Plus, and I will create it. So now this is a PSET template file, right? It's a template that I can use in more projects this will be saved so let's say that i'll call this beam voice custom p set after i do that now this is a template and now i can create more p sets and i will call this this new p set i will call something very important if you don't know already never do this never start a custom p set by using p set this is not recommended or it might be even forbidden by the IFC schema. It's definitely not best practice because by default, you have all the property sets coming with the IFC schema starting with this. So if you have something custom, actually it should be something that follows a naming convention that you have internally or something like that. So for us, in this case, let's call it BM Voice Walls. It doesn't really make any sense, but the name is not important. You can have whatever you have, right? Usually we have it depending on the project and so on. Here you can choose a description and I can say that these are custom property set for walls. We can see here that this will apply to the objects and to the object types. So I will click OK now. And after I did that, you can see here right at the bottom, you see that this is the template and here we have the properties the data type and the value or some description. If we click here, we will figure out what that is. And here we can see also the details about this piece set, right? And these are the properties. Now, if I go here and click, let's say that I want to have, I don't know, I'll choose something that doesn't really make any sense. So yeah, let's say that I have a specific code for walls. I don't know. So uh, I want to name it wall type some companies or many companies or clients have like a 
type of element in a custom property set. Because sometimes if mostly they are using IFC to extreme, maybe it doesn't really work as they expect. And yeah, this is how many companies have built uh, custom property sets to define everything when there is actually already a structure in place in IFC schema, right? So, but let's just call it like that. It doesn't make a sense. You can put here whatever you want, waffle type or whatever, it doesn't matter. So let's just say all type. Of course, we usually like the best practice here is to use the all types, like from the types of walls, right? Here the, in the IFC classes, IFC type all and so on. But sometimes the reality, this is what happens. And what is this? This is an IFC label. We see here many things. Like when it comes to, like, if this is the input that we are going to write in, then is a type of text, right? And there are three most popular, if not only them, maybe, maybe there are more, but I think the three are the most popular the data type for text, and that's IFC label, IFC text, and IFC identifier. Very quickly, IFC label usually works up for names that are quite short, descriptive, and they are up to roughly 250 characters. So in this case, it could work definitely. IFC label, I think, is the best. IFC text is for longer descriptions when you need to write more details. That would make sense to, to use. Sometimes identifier, maybe if you use a tag or something like that. So yeah, I believe that this is the best uh, data type in this case. So I'll stick to this and I will have it like that. And now I will create a new one. I click here on this plus and now let's just say tag, but tag, maybe we can have this tag for each element. So I don't know, maybe something is something specific to walls, right? So again, and let's say that this time we want to use an identifier uh, instead of label. And I can just search here, IFC identifier. We see it here and I click OK and cool. That's it. All right. So now let's say that I want to add another one, which let's say wall description. And in this case, I will use a text, IFC text, which is longer, like I said. IFC text. And OK. Here, when we have this identifier, we can also choose here instead of a single value, an enumerated value. So if it's a range of uh, values or something like that, we could use that. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe I will make another separate video just to cover this because I think this is quite interesting as well. Right now, I'll keep it to this. So this is my property set with these properties, right? Now let's see how do we assign this because for now, we just worked with the property set templates. We did not assign this to any element, right? So I go here, I choose this element now and I go back here and the object information and we can see here the properties from before and now if I go here and look here in this list we will see that we get this new P set which is called beam voice and this is what I was talking about right you see everything here starting with P set is something official that comes from the IFC schema if I click here and click on this plus we get all these values that we put in here and we can assign some values if we have or not for this right so let's say like this is a wall type okay let's assign it like 200 i don't know it's it's not a good example but this is not the idea here the, the idea is to show you how you put it you you choose your correct values here a wall tag let's say that this is 21.56 and 89 and the wall description, yeah, this wall is fake. Petro does not have any idea what he is talking about. <clears throat> so you can type in here over 250 or 260 or 248. I don't know exactly the number, but it's close to 2250. So yeah. Uh, and after that, we click on this OK button right here. And now we save. And when we go back to Bing Club and we reload this model, if you look here, we see it already before the PSET will come Beam Voice Walls. Ta da! There you go. So 
again we can see the wall description this wall is fake Pedro doesn't have any idea what he's talking about wall tag and wall type and whatever else you want to use here yes I don't know how do you experience doing this thing with other tools but I really like the way that Dion and everyone else who contributed to this have created this property set templates that you can very nicely use and reuse on uh, more projects, more of your projects if you need. So you create them once and you can use it on all your projects, right? I think it's pretty neat. And that would be it for now. If it was helpful or if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment and we'll take it from there. Thank you for watching and see you next time.